Hey everyone, Dusty Rains here and I thought it might be interesting to revisit an area of Pahuska, Oklahoma that I covered exactly one year ago. Back then it was nice and cool and a little bit drizzly and um, today it is 92 degrees. It feels like 104 according to the weather people because the humidity is up to 55 percent. Remember I come walking down through here when uh, this whole area was being revitalized as a movie set for Killers of the Flower Moon. So before I leave out of here after the WRCA rodeos for Ben Johnson days I thought it might be interesting to walk some of these streets once again to uh, see what it looks like now. Looks a little bit different. Remember there was quite a bit of movie set construction going on down here. I was not quite ready for shooting as of yet. And I've got some people shadowing behind me. So I'll go ahead and let them walk by. <laughs> oh, we passed the Osage newspaper. I have to admit I did not look at the footage that I took last time before I came back down here again. So, if you want to see that footage, I will put a card up in the corner of the screen. You can take a look at that. I'm using a different camera this time. Last time I used a GoPro, and it has a little bit wider lens angle than this one does. are all different. I don't seem to recall that there is a big blank space in this spot. If it could have been, I don't know. I guess I'd have to go back and review that review that footage. But many of these buildings actually date back to the period of time that the movie Killers of the Flower Moon covers. And of course, it was at that time that the FBI was born, all because of the shenanigans and goings on here, corruption, one thing and another in Bahasta. And you'll have to take a look at the museum tour I did with the Osage County Historical Museum. I found out that there was another first that took place in Pahuska, and that is the very first Boy Scout troop. I put another card up in the corner of the screen right here. You can take a look at that museum tour. I do not have the energy <laughs> to climb up those all those stairs right now. And I did not cover that in the uh, last film that I shot of this downtown area. You know, I don't think that I'm getting as much of the buildings as I would like to by walking really close to the street. Maybe I should have done this a little bit differently and showed everything across the street. But that's what I'm going to do now. We'll focus on this other side. Remember, I had to kind of take a detour because there was construction going on. Lots well, of banging and sawing. Banging, I mean, isn't hammering. <laughs> So it doesn't look so much like a movie set anymore. And by talking to some of the locals, I have discovered that due to all of the renewed interest in the town of Pahuska because of the movie, but it actually started out with the book that has come out, which the movie is based on. That people have been coming here, and it appears that some 
investors have decided to put some money into this area of town. It was very, very run down two years ago is what I'm told. And now we've got some revitalization going on. All the new attention is brought in a renewed interest to this small community in northeastern Oklahoma. Now this is Sunday afternoon. I imagine some of the churches haven't even let out yet. And look at all these cars parked along here. Even though many of these places are actually closed. Here is one building that is definitely undergoing major renovations. And the next one to it, down there you can see that work is being done on it as well. I have noticed something across the street has a little bit of signage to it. So we'll walk over there and check that out. one thing or another. I thought there might have been a little bit of historical information here. It's like it all relates to Merchant Association, Chamber of Commerce stuff. I'm building straight ahead. Almost like a triangle, that's what it's called, the triangle building. And I can't remember if I walked down that way or not. So it's not really good. But you can tell that after the turn of the 20th century, these buildings were pretty fine structures in Oklahoma back in that day. All right, so I think I have covered enough. Let me just zoom in a little bit more over here. You know, I can't zoom in with GoPro cameras. <laughs> this one helps me to cheat. Now there's one other location, which I've already driven by, and uh, that I had visited last year, I mean, and uh, I've already driven by it. It's the old uh, supposed railroad depot, and uh, yeah, if you watch that museum tour film that I did, you'll find out more information about the railroad story in this town and the original depot. We'll be back in a second. Hey, Scout. All right, now we are at filming location number two. I have parked approximately where I did last time I was here. And if you will remember, <laughs> the ground here was very, very muddy. I had a hard time trying to pick my way through here but as you can see now there is absolutely no sign of the railroad depot that was here I suspect this remnant of a chimney is a remainder of that building and here's what's interesting you know I had mentioned that uh, normally when buildings are put up for a specifically for a movie set. They just kind of put up the exterior. You don't uh, see anything finished out or anything except on the outside. And if you do watch that Osage County Historical Museum video, 
you will find out that uh, that actually was a real railroad depot at one time. And uh, we can see some remnants of that here. It was constructed out of brick, but when they decided they would make the movie and use that building, they covered it with wood. <laughs> uh, okay. So it wound up looking newer than the old building, I guess. And I uh, would presume that all of this concrete and stuff. I believe that uh, part of the movie is, or was actually shot in Fairfax. And another thing too, I thought this was um, part of a railroad bed here but actually it is not. The railroad did not come in this direction. Watch that museum video. You'll find out a little bit more about that. But the railroad depot building that actually was here, and I suppose some of this concrete left around here, um, was put in when that building was moved, I believe, from Fairfax to this location originally, and that was many years ago. And it was repurposed and just serving another commercial need. Don't know exactly what that was. Uh, at least my source didn't know. And now there's nothing at all gone. Boy, it's hot out here. Did I say <laughs> whether folks are saying that it feels like 105 degrees? I believe it. I swear. All right, then. Let's go back over to Scout. He's getting pretty hot. Everything else inside of him is getting hot, too, so it's time to crank up the refrigerated air, get back on the road. Thank you very much for joining me for this review. How things have changed here in Pahuska, Oklahoma since the shooting of the Killers of the Flower Moon.